the box number uh, 435. Thank you Thank very you. much. Have a good one. Hello? Nice man. So today I have a package. Um, I paid ten bucks for this. This is I don't remember. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Um. I won't spoil it, but I bought this for ten bucks, and it got delayed in shipping. This was supposed to be here last week and it never came so i have razor blade we're gonna slice this open and we're gonna do a video on it because i haven't done like an unboxing or anything video in a while so we're gonna whoop, whoop. and i don't know how this opens oh there's a little a little thing we got the tab oh oh that's just my address you can't even read that one so Okay, we gotta get this. I can't wait for the, I don't know. Freaking postal service, they really secured this. Oh, all right, we are in. Okay, so for some of you who are quite observant, you may be able to see something right off the bat. Um, oh. Okay, well, that's a bit of a bad sign already. This is a Ziploc bag, and that is a wheel and a screw. Oh, boy. Um, what have I gotten myself into this time? I hate packing peanuts. I hate them with a passion. Please never send me any packing peanuts. Um. <sighs> oh, yeah, if you're interested in sending me something, just leave a comment below. I'll, um, let you know what my P.O. box is. Uh, we don't get much traffic through there. Oh, boy. Um, this is bad. Oh, Jesus. This is way worse than I thought this was. Oh, shh. Oh, my God. Oh, this thing is really busted. Well, um, I did pay $10 for it, so... And here we are, I bought another Great Northern 080. This one, as you have already seen, is in awful condition. Uh, and I mean, that's kind of why I bought it. How does it have both handrails? Okay, out of everything that could be missing, it's missing everything from the tender. But to some miracle, both handrails are still here. Um, also, I could see somebody just kind of shoved a sh freaking Clementine cab on this, which is wonderful. Other than that, all the little detail... Po oh, that's new. That's new. The entire shell might be a little warped. Ooh, I'm going to have to get some pictures. I'll throw some pictures up on the screen right now just so you guys can see this. Wow. Um. Okay, but yeah, so there is a big warp in the shell. I don't know, because this... This was originally not supposed to be staying with me, but I don't know how my friend's going to react to this. But, uh, yeah, that is a, that's kind of bad. Uh, and I don't know if I have the correct pieces to replace that. And I don't think I'm going to even try to bend it back. Uh, yeah, this thing's a bit of a mess. I mean, it has both handrails, so I'm happy. So this might be a big of a bit of a, oh, he, he include, wow. Oh my God. Okay. The tender shell is amazing. Most cosmetic pieces on this are great shape. That's what I'm most worried about. The motor and everything, that's no issue. I can deal with that. And the cab, I'm sure I can find one replacement. All right, so now that we've done the unboxing phase, let's get this up on the test track and see what happens. Okay, so we have it on the track, and we're gonna sit, we're gonna just throw power at this and just see what happens. I don't think anything's going to happen, but I have been surprised before. So... Oh, well. Oh, I heard something. Are you kidding me? No. 
No, it's not gonna go. Nothing. All right, well, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so as you can see, this thing's in pretty bad shape, but I have something cool we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get my very perfect condition Great Northern Oido, and we're gonna compare the two. Okay, so we have both here, and I know you guys are already gonna start spotting things that are incorrect. First of all, you notice this cab. This is very different to that cab because that is not even close to the right cab. That's a Clementine cab. And for those who don't know what the Tyco Clementine is, over mountains, over prairies, it comes head for the line. Where some miners, 49ers, load the train called Clementine. It's a Tyco, it's a Tyco, it comes tearing down the line. Full of muscle, lots of hustle, Tyco's great new Clementine. The Clementine, a great new action train from Tyco, of course. So, and now you guys can get a bit of a better look at the warping problems here. And this thing, this, this thing is so dusty. And the drive is questionable. It's missing this entire piece right here. So, and, and this whole bottom frame is discolored. It's supposed to be black. It's like a chalky white. Um, this, this one is in amazing shape. This is probably one of the nicest tender drives I have. Um, there's nothing broken. It's, it's just an amazing locomotive. Um, I need to give it a little bit of a dust off, but this thing, it needs some serious attention, but that's why I bought it. So originally this was going to be going to somebody else, but I'm pretty sure they're going to cancel that trade now because yeah, this, this thing is just the time it's going to take me to find all the right parts for this, unless somebody decides to send them to me anonymously, which would be awesome. Not saying you should do that or anything. Um, but yeah, this this will probably have to wait its turn to get the correct parts. But I think I have enough parts to make this thing work for the time being. Um, but I'd like to have two beautiful ones um, eventually. Uh, but um, yeah, I love this locomotive. I honestly love the colors that they put on this. I, I really like the tender, the like the sticker they have on it. This one, this tender, by the way, this shell is in just immaculate shape. I, I have no idea how. Um, but just look at that awesome logo. Something about it is just so cool that I love. Um, but it's awesome to have two of these now. Uh, I was originally going to just keep this one, but I mean, I, I guess I'm keeping this one because I know that it's just really bad. Um, I don't want it to stay like that forever though. So we're going to, we're, we're going to, we're going to get it fixed, but that's probably like the fifth time I said that now. Um, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any locomotives running after 25 years. No, we didn't get to see that. But we did get to see a 14-year-old ramble on about trains for a solid six minutes. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.